Hello and welcome to Robu. Today we are going to make scrolling text LED display. You must have seen these displays at railway station, at toll plaza, in train, in bus. So wherever the messages need to be updated quickly and shown to a large number of people, these displays are used. So to make this project, we will be requiring Arduino Uno R3. This is a classic board recommended for beginners. It has got 6 analog input pins, 13 digital input output pins, 1 UART port, 1 SPI, 1 I2C, 1 USB port. It has got 1 DC jack so that we can power it using external adapter. Maximum voltage is 12 volts. So yes, we are going to use this board. Very good board. Then we are going to use this MAX7219 display module. So this is a single MAX7219 dot matrix module. It has got 8 by 8 LEDs. But in this module you get 4 of them which are cascaded. So you get a LED panel of 8 by 32 LEDs. So this board has clock, chip select and DN pin. It has got SPI protocol. So DN pin will be connected to the master out slave in pin of this Arduino board. Okay. Chip select will be connected to third pin, clock pin will be connected to 13, VCC and ground it requires 5 volts. Okay, so we'll be using external adapter, 5 volts adapter for this MAX 7219 board because Arduino cannot give that much current to power so many LEDs. So we'll be using this external adapter. So let's make the connections. Further, we are going to make this wireless by using this Bluetooth module HC05. So we'll quickly make the connections. The connection is given in the blog link is in the description. So we'll quickly make the connections and then we will proceed with the project. So yes, I'm done with the connections. I've connected the 7219 module to the Arduino Uno board. Now all I need to do is program the Arduino Uno board and connect it to the external 5 volt adapter. So let's connect the Arduino Uno board to the COM port using this USB cable. connected the board to the COM port. Now let's open the Arduino IDE. So yes, this is our code scrolling text display dot INO. At the very top you can see I have included two libraries MD Parola and MD Max 72. So to install this library go to library manager type here MD underscore Max 72. And if to install this library MD Max 72 by magic designs hit on install it will be installed. Then you have to install MD Parola. So this library also you have to install, hit on install, it will be installed, I have already installed it. So after you install these two libraries, you are ready to upload the code, but there are some aspects you need to understand. So this hashtag include spi.h, this library is already included in Arduino. So next thing you have to understand is the hardware type. So we are using a blue PCB board. If you are using a green PCB board, then you comment this line. Okay means uh, then you have to use the generic HW module okay so for that you have to comment this line and comment the line below okay but right now I'm using blue color PCB module so I'll uncomment this line which is for FC16 the next thing is the maximum devices hashtag define maximum devices and that parameter is 4 so you can change this if you have more than 4 modules okay so more than four modules connected. So in this module, there are four MAX7219 modules. If you have more than four, you can add it in this parameter. Okay, change, make changes in this parameter. So yes, the next thing is the intensity. So my display dot set intensity, I've written here 15. 15 is max, you can change the intensity, zero is minimum. I have kept the intensity maximum because this message needs to be seen. Okay. Then the next is my display dot display scroll. So here you put the message in string. Suppose you want to don't want to change the message. You want to make keep the message fixed. Then you can write the message here in the form of string. Okay. You have to just pass here some message like hello. Okay. But I have stored the string in one variable message. That's why I have written here message. Okay, and I've written PA center. So by default, I want to start it from center and I want it to scroll from left to right. That's why I've written here PA scroll underscore left. 
you want to scroll from right to left then you write here right instead of left and this 100 determines the speed so 100 millisecond it is the time interval if you want to increase the scrolling speed okay on this display then you decrease this number maybe to 50 or 30 but don't increase it too fast otherwise the words won't be seen okay so 100 is perfect for me we have kept it 100 then this block is to animate start the animation and run the animations continuously okay so if the my display or animate function is called it will start the animation and reset it after every time the animation is complete and this will continuously repeat the animations in loop okay so this is the code now let's upload the code okay So as the code is uploaded, the code is uploaded, now we'll give 5 volts from the adapter to the module and now open the serial monitor and type here some message, welcome to Robu, hit enter and you can see the message comes here which is scrolling from left to right, welcome to Robu is getting shown here. You can see the message on the LED module. So in this way we saw how to send messages from a serial monitor to Arduino to display messages. Now let's see how to do it using Bluetooth module. So yes, now let's connect the Bluetooth module to the Arduino Uno board and send messages from our smartphone. Okay. So this Bluetooth module is HC05. It has got four terminals the state and enable we are not using we are using vcc ground txd and rxd so vcc will go to 5 volts so the connections are made the bluetooth module is connected and the led is blinking on it that means it's searching for it to be connected so now let's open our smartphone and connect it so just like you pair any other bluetooth device you have to turn on the bluetooth on your phone and you will see here HC05, you have to click on it, you have to enter the password 1234 which is by default for HC05 and once it's paired, you can download this app, okay, all steps are given in the blog, okay, you can download this app, Serial Bluetooth Terminal, okay, to open this app, then you have to go to Devices, here you can see HC05, which is our Bluetooth module name to connect to it and once it's connected it will show connected and now you can send messages from your mobile phone it will appear on this LED panel so yes you have sent the message and you can see it on this board the message is scrolling I will send one more message. So I have sent it from my mobile device. So I have written here subscribe to Robu and I have pressed the send button as you can see and that is appearing on this LED panel. So this was a project in which we saw how to send messages from mobile and laptop to a dot matrix display. If you like this project, give a like to this video, subscribe to Robu for more amazing content. Until next time, stay tuned with Robu. Thanks for watching.